yang belum pasti. Tentu. Eh kamu kamu kirim itunya eh, alamatnya ke WA aku biar aku share. Dud, kamu jangan ini ya. Jangan apa? Ini mau live di YouTube, jangan ngomong selain hal pembelajaran udah aku mulai. Oke, okay, no problem. So here, aduh call of prayer now. Ajaan. Oke, okay, ini udah live. Tolong di mute, di mute itunya. YouTube-nya di, di mute, tolong. Oke, okay, good. And now please share it to me the the link so I can share to everyone. Selamat datang. Oke, teman-teman selamat datang. Kita sambil nunggu yang lain ya. Masih ada setengah lagi yang belum masuk. Oke. Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Lah, Waalaikumsalam. Eh, ini benar ya? Iya, Deng. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you everyone, welcome. Bonan, Mr. Bonan, Nadiska, Hendra, Afriza, Miss Afriza, Miss Dia. Welcome everyone ya. Ada Rania, Santa, Sudibyo, Vira. And masih San, Mr. San. Okay, so thank you so much. And welcome to speaking with Bule. So I'm gonna explain this class first before we start and before we have Bule. So, okay, maybe you can ask questions after I explain the descriptions of the class. My name is Andika and I'm gonna help David to teach in this class because David cannot speak Indonesian and maybe he needs the interpreter or maybe translator to help him teaching in 
English in this class. Okay, and all right, talking about this class. So it's gonna be 10 meetings in this class. We will have 10 meetings and we're gonna update the time every day. And yeah, of course you're gonna use Zoom. Sorry, it's Zoom, not Zoom. And then we will have sessions, which is uh, conversations with Bule, of course. Yeah, conversation with Bule. You will have time, maybe around 30 minutes. And then we also have WhatsApp group. As you know, guys, we are in the group already. You can discuss, you can be active there. If you want to practice with other students, just record your voice or maybe discuss something. And then we have member area as well. Member area means, okay, every week we have SB Talks. We will invite international speakers to be in SB Talks. And you are, guys, welcome. Like, you are free to participate in that event. And, yeah, it's combination between Kampong English method as well. Like, we have one tutor who is having experience teaching in Kampong English Pare. Maybe he can help you too here in this class. And then, yeah, we will get the e certificate as well. Okay, talking about the descriptions of this class, do you guys have any questions before we start to introduce ourselves one by one? Please. Maybe, maybe Bonani Manuel, I wanna, uh, I wanna oh, sure. ask you about uh, intensive class. How about if I cannot to join all the uh, class? Maybe tomorrow I cannot to attend the, how about that? So, can you tell me the reasons why you cannot uh, attend the class? I have a schedule for tomorrow recording, maybe. Ah, uh, so it's about time, yeah? Yes. Actually, uh, yeah, we already agreed and it's in brochure, in advertisement, mm -hmm. that the time is exact, like 15.30, but maybe it's going to be changing if it depends on the schedules of everyone, but mm -hmm. talking about the intensive class, if you want to, you know, participate in intensive class, we have another program as well. But when you register for this class, then this is the class. Uh, we have this exact schedule. Mm, okay. Or maybe what time are you free? Is it like at four or maybe we can postpone until four? Are you free at 4 p.m.? Um, until 5 p.m. Until 5. Yeah, I'm so sorry for that because... Maybe just tomorrow, just tomorrow. Yeah, just tomorrow. Just okay. tomorrow. Yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. If you cannot attend one class, it's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Any other questions, guys? Please. Uh, I think uh, 4 p.m. is okay for tomorrow. All right. So everyone agree that we will have class at 4 p.m. Okay. We, uh, I will announce in the group and I'm going to discuss with David as well because David is going to be teacher in this class. So it depends on him. Okay, jadi maybe I'm combining in bahasa as well. Jadi ini the first batch ya. Yeah. Jadi teman-teman ya, yeah, welcome to the first batch. Ini still very cheap because it's kind of like promotion as well. So, yeah. You guys are so lucky here because the prices are yeah, still still cheap and we will have bule as well which is native speakers from New Zealand. And of course you can practice conversation and speaking with him directly. And yeah, maybe in the future we can upgrade the method and the price as well. So yeah, just for the information about this class, Sekolah Bahasa. We also have private one-on-one -on -one class. If you have specific purpose, for example, oh, you want to take IELTS, or maybe you want to take Tovel, 
or maybe just speaking or writing. We have those program as well, which is like you can pay per hour. If you don't like the tutor, you can change the teachers and you can choose the program. What do you want to learn? For example, oh, I just want to learn presentation or I want to learn just conversation or I will have international seminars. So I need to present my seminars in English. So you can learn those kind of stuff as well. Okay, so I'm gonna call you one by one and please introduce yourself, all right, in English. So start from Dia, please, Dia. Uh, wait a moment, one minute. Okay. I will close the door. All right. Or maybe you can share your video, yeah, everyone, so everyone can see each other. Hello. Yeah, Miss Dia. Yeah. Uh, I'm Dia, and I'm 32 years old. I work as a general secretary at law firm, and I live in Bali. Okay, Miss Dia from yeah. Bali. Okay, next we have Miss Nadiska. Okay, hello, my name is Nadiska. Uh, I'm 17 years old, and I live in Jakarta. Okay, Nadiska. Hello, Nadiska from Jakarta. And then we have Avriza, Miss Avriza. Okay, hello, everyone. Hi. Okay, my name is Avriza. I'm from Lamongan, actually, it's Java. Okay, Miss Avriza from Lamongan is Java. Next, we have Miss Ani. Um, okay, uh, my name is Ani Nilashokia, but you can call me Ani. I'm from Makassar and study at Bogor. Bogor University. Yes. At the university. IPB. Okay. IPB, yeah. Thank you. Miss Ani from Makassar. And then we have Mr. Bonan. Hello, everyone. My name is Bonan Emanuel. You can call me Bonan. I live in Surabaya City. Surabaya. Okay. Mr. Bonan from Surabaya. Next, we have Miss Dinda. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dinda. I'm from Polman, west of Sulawesi. Okay. Dinda from West Sulawesi. Next, we have Mr. Dirga, Dirga Putra. Dirga Putra. Mr. Dirga? Dirga, are you there? Hello? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot turn on my video. Um, I'm still driving. Um, so, uh, I'm Dirga, I'm from Makassar. So, Sulawesi. Okay. Mr. Dirga, I think he's outside, yeah? So yeah, thank you, Mr. Dirga from Sulawesi. And then we have Miss Dia tadi udah ya, Miss Dia, Miss Farida. Do we have Miss Farida here? Farida Nur. Yeah, please, you can unmute your speaker. Hello, everyone. Microphone, yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello, uh, I'm Farida from Bandung, West Java. Thank you. Hi, Farida. Okay, next we have Hendra Wijaya. Mr. Hendra Wijaya, please. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Hendra Wijaya. You can call me Hendra. I'm from 
South Sulawesi, exactly Makassar. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hendra. And then next we have Miss Nadiska. Please, Miss Nadiska. You can unmute your microphone. Tadi aku udah. Oh, udah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, saya lihatnya ini urut ya. Next, next, next we have Mr. Ihsan. Hello everyone, I'm Ihsan from Makassar, South Sulawesi. Okay, welcome Mr. Ihsan. And Ms. Rania. Ms. Rania. Uh, hello, my name is Rania Hanin Sajida. You can call me Rania. And I'm from Surabaya. And I'm still 17 years old. Okay, Rania from Surabaya. Thank you. Next we have Santa. Hello, my name is Santa Lucia. You can call me Santa. Santa is from? Medan. Medan. Okay. Thank you, Santa. Next, we have Sri Devi. Miss Sri Devi. You can unmute your microphone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Sri Devi. You can call me Sri Devi. I'm from Bali. Okay. Thank you. And next, we have Mr. Sudibyo. Hello everyone, my name is Dibyo Atmojo, you can call me Dibyo, and I'm from Jember. I study at State Polytechnic of Jember. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Vira, udah? Miss Vira? Not yet. Not Hello. yet, ya yeah, Miss Vira, please. Uh, you can call me Vira, and I'm from Bandung. Okay. All right. So, yeah, welcome everyone, and thank you for... Okay, we still have one more person. Ada yang belum dipanggil? Ada. Anyone? Miss Hanifa. Ya, yeah. Miss Miss Hanifa Rahmi. Hello everyone. Uh, my Hi. name is Hanifa Rahmi Fajrin. You can call me Hanifa. I'm from Yogyakarta. Okay. Welcome Miss Hanifa from Jogja, Yogyakarta. All right. And okay. So David is here already, and maybe David will introduce himself. And oh, we still have one more person, which is Mr. Rama. Mr. Rama, can you please introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, Mr. Rama. Hello. Okay, my name is Ramadan. You can call me Rama. I am from Lampung. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. And then today we have Mr. David already here. Welcome, Mr. David. Uh, you can unmute your microphone. Thank you. Hi, Antika. Hi. Thank you, Mr. David, for coming. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. So the focus of this class is going to be on speaking. And maybe not really, you know, talk about grammar in detail, but we still can discuss about grammar, discuss grammar too, a little bit. But this class is designed to, you know, help you, like how to talk to native speakers, to bule, and maybe the real English in context, in current situations, like maybe small talks, stuff like that, or maybe in the shopping center or in the restaurants. And then what kind of sentence or phrases that actually used by native speakers? Uh, then David will help us to design or to create those kind of conversations in context. Okay, so Mr. Ramadan, do you wanna say something? Okay, thank you everyone. Before we start, do you guys understand English? Like, or should we speak in Bahasa Indonesia half half or a hundred percent English, especially for us, Indonesian tutor? Jadi sebaiknya kalian itu udah paham bang, paham semuanya bahasa yeah. Inggris atau kalian juga butuh untuk bahasa Indonesia? Coba uh, mungkin bisa kita buat polling, bisa nggak ya polling atau bisa chat ya teman-teman chat, karena 
uh, waktu di brochure it's for everyone for all levels basic intermediate and advanced so yeah we need your advice or input should we use 100% in english or 50% indonesian and english you can type please english indonesian english indonesian like okay so i'm going to give you example like this english 100% Okay, from Vira, 100% English. From Bonan, 100%. Cool. How about everyone? Hendra Basic. Wijaya. Okay. Basic. Okay. And how about other people? Hundred, hundred combined. Hundred fifty. A hundred. A hundred. Most of them are a hundred. Okay. So maybe, yeah, some people, like most of most students say it's a hundred, but some people say it's like 50 and one student say basic. So maybe we have to consider about them as well, which is we will combine a little bit. Okay. Agree everyone. Yeah because we are in a group and there are some people need there are some people who need using bahasa as well so we will combine a little bit okay. maybe 75 percent <laughs> from David 75 percent um, okay everyone I hope you can hear us clearly if not you can adjust your like speakers or whatever you have right now like your headset so you can hear us clearly so uh, jadi teman-teman bisa adjust ya headphone-nya atau speaker-nya supaya kedengaran and also uh, today's topic is gonna be introductions so how to introduce like proper in proper English like everyone here just like my name is I am come from I like I come from I am from something like that perhaps uh, like a native speaker has another way to express themselves like many things so it's gonna be like a longer than before and the idea uh, meskipun kalian itu nggak bisa grammar even so you don't understand grammar tapi kita akan coba untuk pakai konteks using konteks jadi kayak bayi ya bayi itu nggak pernah belajar grammar tapi jago grammar ya uh, kayak bayi-bayi bule gitu karena dia hanya mendengarkan uh, because like baby, they they don't study grammar. They don't have grammar books. They just don't have their parents to study. In this case, Mr. David. And uh, they can speak English perfectly. So that's why I, I hope all of you guys take our with this program. Kalian bertahan di program ini. Jadi kalian tuh dapat manfaatnya dengan mendengarkan bule real life. And you will study a natural English, a natural uh, pronunciation from native speakers. That's the whole idea of this class. Dan topik hari ini adalah introduction ya. Today's topic is introductions. Is that correct, Mr. Um, Andika? Yeah, introductions, small talks. Okay, okay David say Mr. David, 75%. you can, you can yes. say hi to everyone, please. Yeah, hello. Uh, yeah, and um, Nama saya David, saya tinggal di Auckland, di Selandia Baru. Um, saya, ya, yeah, saya mau nasi goreng. <laughs> saya suka, man. saya suka nasi goreng. Yeah, I'm actually, um, right now I'm visiting my family. They live in another area of my city uh, one day i hope to travel to indonesia i was meant to i was meant to be in your beautiful country in may uh, this year but the borders are all closed so i'm happy to see all your amazing faces and get to spend time online with you all so thanks for having me okay david Great. so today in the first meeting, we're going to talk about introductions, which is 
covering the small talks or maybe some expression or phrases that may be very useful for Indonesians when they meet native speakers in tourist tourism places or maybe public transportation or other places. Mm. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to share the Google Docs. So maybe what you say, I'm going to type and in the in the end of this class, I'm going to share it to all of the students. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Uh, Andika, yeah. Uh, should we like share the the face of David, or should we share the the Microsoft Word? So David, can you still see the David's face? Yes. Still, right? I spotlight okay. him, so everyone can see him. Okay. Yeah. Okay, David. First of all. Like what kind of expressions that normally used for native speakers when they meet each other in public transportation? Because in Indonesian, in school, for example, teachers always say, hi, how are you? I'm good, nice, I'm fine, nice to meet you, bye, stuff like that. Is it yes. really happening? <laughs> yes, so for example, uh, when I meet somebody for the first time, then I'll say, hello, uh, my name is David. And it's, it's so nice to meet you. But the next time I see them, if I've already know them, I can't say it's nice to meet you. I will say it's nice to see you. Uh, so that's once you know the person. So if you say it's nice to meet you, then they'll say, oh, did you already forget me? And so it's, so it's better to say, it's nice to see you. Um, how are you? Um, how has your day been? Um, how is your day been? Oh, how has, how has your day been? Uh, how are you feeling today? Um, what have you been up to today? Or Wait, what have you slowly, been? please. <laughs> Uh, what, what have you been up to? Meaning, what have you been doing? Yeah. What you've been up to? What have you been up to? This one is like a New Zealand one, but they will also say it in Australia. Yeah. It means, what have you been doing? What and have you also, been up to? It's a question that shows I'm interested in you. I, I'm interested in your life. So that's why we say, yeah, you don't say that. It's oh, yeah, I don't say that. <laughs> the meaning, yeah? It, no, that's what it means. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the meaning that I'm interested in you and asking your life. What have it you might, been up to? Yeah, to say that, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we say these things. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, these are the most introductions. Uh, where are you from? Uh, what do, What are you studying? Are you working or on a holiday? David, yes. Which which one is more common? I I come from or I am from. Which one is correct? Uh, they're both probably equal. We can say both, really. Yeah, they're both fine. Uh, okay. I, I say both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm from or I come from. Okay. Thank you so much. And then talking about the this one before we go to the next discussion. So is it pretty common for strangers just greet, like greeting people like this suddenly, or that should be any particular context, like should be in the same situation or 
Well, for example, uh, for example, if I go to um, get some food from the cafeteria, uh, I I can say hello, how are you today? And the lady might she might say, I'm good, thank you. It's been very busy, and I will say, Well, you're doing well. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day, or something like that. So sometimes, um, yeah, that's like small talk. Small um, talks, yeah. Probably in this in that situation, probably not going to ask for the name unless unless the conversation keeps going. Oh, by the way, I'm David. You know, you can say, by the way, uh, my name is David. And then she might say, oh, it's good to meet you. I see you come every day and you order a nasi goreng. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Oke, okay, so, jadi gitu ya teman-teman ya. Oke, okay, When... David. How yeah. about introducing yourself in business setting? Like you are selling with your boss. You are entering the job when the interview asks you. Like how to explain it, introduce yourself in a business setting. Sure. So in the business setting, it's formal. Uh, it's we're not probably because you're getting paid for your time and other and you're dealing with people who are professional. We're not going to be joking so much. So it's more um, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, you can say, uh, you know, Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, and you can say, just trying to think. Normally, when I meet a client for the first time, because I have my own small business, I will um, I will talk to them like, um, uh, I'm just try. Sorry, I'm just trying to think the the best way. It's. It's very similar to what we just went through before, uh, introductions, um, and then, but it's just a little bit more formal when it's in business. That's the difference. Um, yeah, I don't know if you have any questions, but it's similar, but just slight differences. You're probably not going to be joking so much or saying slang words. Um, Most times when you're studying English, you learn the formal and informal. So, yeah. Is there any questions about that? Sorry, I haven't thought about that question. Okay, maybe we will give the students, I will give students opportunity or chance to ask David a question, talking about introduction and small talks. Jadi di bahasa Inggris ada bahasa-bahasa juga teman-teman ya. Bahasa-bahasa like, how has your day been? How was your feeling today? Tapi kalau misalkan ingin lebih dekat, biasanya dia ngomong, Uh, by the way, I'm David. Tapi kalau misalkan bahasa basi doang, dia cuma udah ngomong ini doang ya, tanpa introducing. By the way, I'm David. Nggak sampai di situ. Tapi kalau mau pengen lanjut, you can mention your name. Oke. Okay. Nah, sekarang, please, if you have any questions, you can ask David for this topic introduction first for the first day. Maybe introducing family and home or business is also maybe you can ask David. Please, everyone. Jadi kalau mau nanya ya, misalnya kalau memperkenalkan pacar gimana? Misalnya kalian punya mertua, calon mertua nih. Bule kan misalnya, nah, pengen kenalan, memperkenalkan ke bule, kalau mertua kalian. Maybe bisa sekarang nih sempat kalian untuk nanya tentang introduction. Kayak gitu. Atau yang lainnya kalau ada pertanyaan silahkan ya. If you, if you just try to speak, this the whole idea of this class. Come on. Guys, you can do it. Okay, Miss Afriza, please. Yes. Okay, thank you. Hello, David. Hello, Afriza. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay, actually, uh, it's common or not if we are just um meet yeah just meet and then i ask you about your do you have a girlfriend or not like that 
Okay. So probably it depends. It depends where you meet. So for example, it it's uh, different in each situation. So if you're meeting at if you're meeting at a party, then probably that's normal. But if you're meeting in business, then obviously it's probably similar in yeah uh, in other cultures. So I think just best to ask a friend that you're with first. Um, otherwise, it might be awkward. Like it might be um, yeah. Sometimes it's definitely informal when it's an informal setting, when everybody is um, relaxed, that type of situation, then you can ask those types of questions. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you, David. So when you are in the party, of course, you can ask that, even though it's a little bit weird. But if in this like formal or business situations, business settings, Kayak be... begitu teman-teman yang nggak tahu artinya otherwise, otherwise itu artinya kalau nggak gitu ya, kalau nggak gitu otherwise. Tadi bilangnya kan, kalau misalnya kalian memperkenalkan diri, ya kalian bilang dulu, bilang dulu kalian tuh udah punya pacar belum. Nah, kita ngomong dulu otherwise, kalau nggak gitu, nggak sopan dong. Kita udah, udah nanya mereka, tapi kita kok nggak ngomong dulu gitu. Jadi otherwise itu keren ya, otherwise kalau nggak gitu. Dan dia tadi ngomongnya nggak, ya dia ngomongnya setting. Can you speak setting, David? Setting, setting, pronounce setting correctly. Setting, setting, setting. setting eh? Yes. Yeah. So it depends on your setting. Depends on your situation. Situations. Yeah. Setting bukan aturan ya guys ya. Jadi setting itu artinya adalah situasi guys. Jadi misalnya setting itu bukan pengaturan. Jadi itu adalah situasi, situation. Okay. Continue. Next, still talking about simple topics, yeah, introductions, please. Yes. Atau harus dipanggil Ayo. satu-satu ya. Mister. Kemarin mau tanya. Yang, kemarin yang katanya mau ngobrol sama boleh siapa? Ayo kemarin. Miss. Yang chat. Aku pengen ngobrol sama boleh, sir. Gitu. Siapa kemarin? Miss dia. Ya, mau. Mas dia, you can unmute ya. Yeah. First, unmute the microphone. Hi David, nice to see you. Hello. Hi, I'm Dia. I'm from Indonesia. Hi, Miss Dia. Hi. Nice to meet you. And when we introduce ourselves to new people, usually when we talk about the family, is it normal or not when we talk about our family? Oh, I see. When you introduce for the first time? Yeah. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, on for your setting it's also it depends on your setting for example if i was if i am visiting indonesia uh and i meet somebody especially if you're talking to a traveler or somebody who is um new then you're interested to know about them um probably after you've already introduced yourself you can say oh um So do you come from a do you come from a big family or a small family and then and then for example I will say I come from a small family I have one brother and my mother and father are very small and then I can say how about you do you come from a small family or a big family daya uh, I come from bigger family and then when the new people Asked me for first meeting. He asked me, uh, invite me to go his home. Is it normal or not? It's for stranger. It's really new people. Yeah, probably no. So, like for example, if they invite you first time, 
you want to have mutual friends. Maybe um, Andika, you can explain mutual friends. Yeah, teman yang sama ya. Punya teman teman yang sama. Yeah. Yeah. So you can trust Bisa. persons. Yeah. Ya, jadi mutual itu tahu ya. Mutual itu temannya sama gitu. Kalau benar-benar strangers, Mbak Dia, totally strangers, itu sama kayak di Indonesia ya. Mungkin uncommon. Di Indonesia common nggak sih, Mbak Dia? Nggak tahu. Uh, di Indonesia nggak common. Aku nggak tahu karena bule pernah tanya ke aku, minta aku gitu. Jadi aku tanya itu common nggak? Hmm, itu nggak. Mungkin David. Maybe it's the setting is like when bule come to Indonesia and want to experience oh, other see. cultures. I think maybe some people do that. I see. Sure. Yes. Yeah. For example, I haven't been to Indonesia, but I have been to Samoa, Fiji. When I go to these countries, um, sometimes I meet somebody, make a friend. They say, oh, come. My house is just down the road. Come for dinner. And I say, oh, thank you. I would love to come and experience your culture and uh, So, for example, one one house I went to in Samoa, they killed the chicken right there. They they killed the chicken, they, they cooked it, they made a curry. So, that was really generous. Ya, yeah. jadi untuk bule yang misalkan datang ke Indonesia itu dianggap sebagai mungkin tamu besar ya, tamu istimewa. Jadi, maybe it's common to experience the culture. Jadi, kayak kita welcoming banget, biasanya gitu. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Mbak Dia. Next. Anybody else have any questions? Hello, David. Hello. Hello, I'm Vera. Nice to meet you. Hello. Sorry, I just tried to find you. Okay. Uh, is it common to ask about age in the first meeting? Age Next. and jobs. I mean. Oh, okay. Uh, Hmm, I would I would not ask a girl or a woman her age because it's not uh, culture probably not culturally appropriate. Um, Andika, uh, does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, it's the same here. Yeah, so I might get a slap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Most women will ask a man their age. No problem. There's no problem. So it's um. More for, hmm, more for older women. You don't ask the age. I think like young women, it doesn't matter so much. Yeah, more that issue is more for older women. Don't ask the age. Yeah, if that makes But sense. But is it fine if if we ask to to boy or guys? Yeah, it's like in news in in our culture, it's fine. Like people ask me my age. But for example, if I'm Hmm, good question. If I'm somewhere, I still don't feel comfortable to ask. Uh, It's the private, uh, David. Like, uh, I don't. To be honest, I don't ask women their age, even if they're my age. If I think they're my age, I still don't ask them. It's not really. It's not really normal to do that. Yeah. But if women to men, like, is it okay? Yeah, they do it all the time. Yeah. Oh, they, it's okay, <laughs> Mafira. Bisa, bisa. Okay, thank you. Bisa, coba tanya David sekarang ya, how old are you gitu. How old are you, David? Oh. He said it's okay to ask you about your age. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Low key, low key, ask the question. I'm 20. Anyone? The same. Are you sure? Same as me. 21? A little, little bit old. Maybe a yeah. little bit old. <laughs> Little bit odd, little bit nya 10 years ya. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Just kidding, David. Okay, next, please. Uh, hi, David. Hi. Hello. I'm actually, I'm so nervous to um, continue this discuss because it's my first time to talking to native speakers. So wish me luck. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. What gonna say? Okay, um, I'm gonna ask about the list when we gonna talk about ourselves. Like I introduce. Oh my God! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That sounds <laughs> not good. Okay. Um, 
I am gonna ask about Liz when we gonna talk about ourselves. Is that um, enough when we just say name and age, or we have to more say that like um, where where we are from or where we study or uh, not or anything else? Yeah, that's a good Thank question, you. Annie. Uh, I think. Firstly, um, don't say your age, but you can say your name. And the second one I would say is normally when I introduce myself, if I'm in a new country, I'll say, hello, my name is David. Uh, I'm from New Zealand. And then they might say, we're in New Zealand. Or, or for example, if it's you, I'm from Indonesia. We're in Indonesia. Oh, Jakarta. Oh, that's good. Me too. Um, and normally after place, it's like, oh, so what do you do? Um, and so it might be like study or work or um, travel. Yeah, uh, that will normally be the next thing people ask. And then they try to find something in common. Oh, really? What country have you been to? Or what, what city have you been to? Oh, I like that place. Or... Um, and then after, after they met, might say like, oh, uh, so, so have you, what's your favorite food in Indonesia? Or if you're traveling in a Western country, what's your favorite food in Australia or New Zealand? Oh, I love. Um, Hello, the flowing gitu ya. And how about in the formal settings, David? Oh, okay. Like you do self introductions to audience. Okay. So in a formal setting, if Annie comes up to me and says, hello, I'm Annie, I'll be, uh, I will be purchasing some, um, some materials from your online store. And I'll say, oh, hello, Annie, nice to meet you. It, it will be a pleasure to do business, I'm sure. Uh, yes, can I interest you in these products that we have? Uh, and I might also ask about, um, um, her experience in that field. Oh, have you been doing this business for a long time? Oh, really? I've been doing this business for 10 years. Um, I'm sure you have a lot of experience. I'm sure I can learn a lot from you. Um, that type of thing. Um, so it's very different when you're in business and yeah, casual. Okay. Jadi, yeah. purpose-nya apa ya? Purpose-nya okay. apa? Biasanya gitu. Sama talking about experience ya, spesialisasinya apa sih, kayak gitu. Mungkin di interview atau di job interview, ya talking about the experience. Jadi dia ngomong gitu ya, mention experience too. And David, talking about... to clarify, when, when people ask like, what do you do? What is exactly that? What does it mean? When people uh, ask, what do you do? Like, what is so your job? It's probably, they're probably meaning what is your job. But if you don't have a job, for example, I see some of you are young, uh, younger than me, um, <laughs> then you would, they were probably meaning what are you studying? Mm -hmm. Or if you're in another country, um, or that you might just surprise them and say, actually, I'm not working or studying, I'm actually traveling. Um, and yeah, otherwise, for example, I might say something I'm passionate about, for example, oh, um, I'm an artist or I'm a, I'm a musician, something like that. So you can answer it. And I normally ask people, what do you do? Because it leaves it open. Some people feel a bit funny, for example, if they can't, a lot of people right now, they lose their job, eh? True. And I don't say, well, what do you do for a job? And then they say, oh, actually, I lost my job. It feels awkward. So I say, well, um, what do you enjoy doing? Um, or what do you do? And then it means they can answer whatever they want to. It's a little bit nicer to ask like that. Yeah. Okay. Jadi teman-teman ya, bagi yeah. yang belum tahu, jadi what do you do itu bukan apa kabar, bukan tahu what do you do, kamu lagi apa, bukan ya. Jadi what do you do itu nanya kerjaan kamu, kamu itu sibuknya apa gitu, kamu penyanyi atau kamu itu kerjanya apa atau kamu lagi apa sekarang lagi belajar lagi apa lagi sekolah kayak gitu ya jadi waduh itu itu artinya 
kerjaan lebih ke kerjaan the jobs thank you it's many people are losing the job ya yeah. yeah so it's it's something like you just find something in common like sometimes people don't have a excuse job excuse me yeah please mister okay uh hello david i'm ihsan hello sorry i can't see you okay ihsan. where is ihsan yes okay. okay actually i'm a police officer uh, so could you tell tell us a little bit uh have you ever stopped by the traffic police in uh news in your area and how he or she introduce himself to you and so on yeah that's a good question um, did you get it david yes yes good question uh, so i say isan okay isan isan okay yeah. Uh, yes, good question. Uh, I would say, firstly, be very polite and formal. So I might say, um, hello, sir. I'm sorry, I was speeding. Or I can say, um, uh, hello, officer. Normally say officer or sir. And, okay. and yeah. Always can, I, can I interrupt a little bit? Polite. Yes. Sure. Just want to clarify, Mr. Isan, is it like from police to the like driver or from driver to the police? Uh, both uh, police officer and the driver. Oh, both, yeah. 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 Okay. So it's from the driver perspective. Maybe the first uh, officer to driver. Officers to driver. Okay. So, for example, the officer, uh, if the officer pulls me over, he might come up to the window and say, uh, hello, sir, good afternoon. In New Zealand and Australia, they're very polite, the officers. In America, they're like, get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> True. In New Zealand, they're like, hello, uh, good afternoon. Uh, can I please see your driver's license? Did you know that you were traveling 20 kilometers above the speed limit? Is there any reason why you should be traveling so fast today? And then it's like, no, I'm sorry, officer. I didn't know. I was in a hurry to a party or something. And, uh, and then they'll say, okay, well, I'll just take your driver's license. And I'm sorry, but that will be a... Uh, One hundred dollar fine, and <laughs> and uh, yeah, then they'll say, then they'll like spend probably ten minutes just take their time, write it out so that you're really late, and then they give it back to you and they say, yeah, have a good day, drive safe, and okay. you're like, <laughs> okay, David, uh, when when the driver breaks uh the law of uh the traffic, is yes. uh, the the officer um give him uh some fine directly or maybe he he have to he has to serve uh some administration or or what yes they will um they will take the details and they and you'll receive it in in the mail you know, it will be delivered to you mm. Mm. but of course that never happens to me that's i'm i'm a good <laughs> okay <player>. okay <laughs> yes wow it's very interesting yeah in the context of police officer yeah. it's pretty really similar yeah it's really similar I'm so curious the very the police officers are very friendly uh, in new zealand and australia the... same here same here so, yeah <laughs> same with here In New Zealand, they don't even it's care. Especially in Magasar. Okay, I'll have to come. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe. I'm here. Totally the same. Perfect. <laughs> uh, still have some times. Anyone? Tadi bis Teresan udah ya ngejawab pertanyaan ya. Udah. Okay. Udah, next. Udah. I want to hear from all of you. 
something. Yeah, please. I still have time. Come on. Introduce regarding the introductions of yourself or anything. Mr. Hendra, Mr. Anya. Hello. Okay, uh, I want to ask you about the culture in New Zealand. What the difference uh, uh, with Indonesian's culture? Sure. Maybe sure. just for, uh, maybe first time to come in Indonesia or in New Zealand, what the difference? Sure. That's a very good question. Um, somebody's singing really nicely too in the background. I don't know who. But <laughs> <laughs> my voice is nicer. Yang yeah. nyanyi tolong di di mute ya yang nyanyi. <laughs> But I I would say some of the main differences uh in the culture for example when if I go to Indonesia uh well I haven't been there uh yet but what I notice with the culture is that uh there's there's a respect for uh, older people. There's a respect for foreigners and people from other countries. Uh, there is, uh, hmm, it's a lot busier. And um, so people, more people are probably in more of a hurry uh, in the city center. Um, but I think also if I was to travel there, uh, people are probably going to, be more hospitable. Uh, hospitality is a um, I attribute, if that makes sense. It, it, hospitality is very important to Indonesian people and looking after and serving food and welcoming and uh, all these types of things. Um, so people are like this in New Zealand, but uh, it's not as important in our culture, probably as in your culture. Uh, in New Zealand, probably people are more independent. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, and I think in Indonesia, people are more connected to the community and to family and friends. And so I think it's really good. Uh, of course, there's always, exceptions in both cultures uh, for example um, in my area that I live in Auckland uh, the community is more hospitable I feel and it's more focused on um, connecting with family and friends more than maybe the rich richer areas possibly um, so I live in a kind of middle class area yeah does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. And it's true. Yeah. So when so, you mention you respect to older people, it's in New Zealand or Indonesia, New Zealand. Well, I think I think in Indonesia, they do this better than in New Zealand. Yeah, really? probably in New Zealand, people are more independent. But to be honest, it depends. It actually depends on the ethnicity. So, for example, I'm European. Europeans are not so good at uh, family connection and and community connection. Europeans are more independent people, but for example, Pacific Island Chinese, um, they have their family. Um, Indian, they they'll have their family gatherings more. Um, so there's always exceptions, but I think. Um, one thing I love about Auckland is very multicultural. So we have about one third European, one third Pacific and Maori, and one third from Asia. That's like Indonesia, China, Japan, India. So yeah, we have a mixture. Okay, thank you so much, David, for sharing and for teaching us today about introduction. No and problem. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope it's gonna be useful, yeah, everyone, for you. I'm gonna share the notes that we discussed today to your WhatsApp, and I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm gonna tell you the maybe if there are any changes, like 
regarding the time or maybe talking about topics, I'm gonna tell everyone yeah on WhatsApp. Okay, so time's up. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, David. And everyone, you can say thank you to David. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank David. You, thank you, David. Thank you so much, David. Thank you so much, David. Tomorrow. Have a nice day. Have, Have a nice, nice day. Bye-bye. Ciao.